Good character is not formed in a week or a month. It is created little by little, day by day. Here quite is. It's funny how it's the little things in life that mean the most. Zach Brownman. Our work here is done. Scott Stevens. <laughs> I think the world is going to be saved by millions of small things. Keep seated. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Shelby Oden, also known as Swag, Swaggy, or even Shaggy. And I am a sixth form boarder from New York City. It is hard to believe that I am standing up here giving my very own chapel talk with just 15 days left here on the hill. For the last four years, I have waited for this very moment, and I could not be more excited and happy that it is finally here. From a young age, my parents have tried to instill in me many big picture values, which I believe have shaped my life's experiences and the person that I am today. When I was eight years old, my father brought me into his office and gave me a small plaque that read, what good shall I do this day? He bought one for himself, which he keeps on his desk, and bought one for my sister as well. She and I, like our dad, keep these plaques on our desks. This simple question is taken from Benjamin Franklin's Boyhood Journals. Franklin asks himself this question every single morning, and then in the evening asks again. What good have I done? This motto has stuck with me ever since. I keep this question in the back of my mind at all times. Because of my dad's advice, I have learned to ask myself, what good act, either big or small, can I do today? How can I make a difference? How can I be the reason that someone else smiles today? When passing on this keepsake, my dad explained to me the importance of doing some act of good every day, but he also emphasized that these acts are not measured. They can be as small as saying a simple hello and asking someone how they are truly doing, or they can be as significant as finding a cure for cancer. Attempting to answer this daily challenge has become an integral part of my life. One that has helped to grow my sense of empathy and compassion, as well as my pursuit of being an overall positive and optimistic person. Another favorite quote my dad likes to say to me, and one I'm learning to appreciate more, is, your life consists of a continuous series of small individual moments and experiences which make up the tapestry of your life. At this point, you may have a sense that what I am suggesting is quite easy. You might be asking yourself, where is she going with this? One good, small act each day, pretty simple, might be a good bumper sticker or even a yearbook quote. I wonder what they're serving in Armstrong for lunch, or I wonder what happened to Mr. Stevens' front too. <laughs> Yet, here's the thing. The reason I'm focused on this idea is because it is actually quite hard. In fact, it can feel really hard. One of the primary reasons it is difficult is that we are trained to focus on a different model. One with grand notions of character and acts of heroism involving superhuman strength or courage. Throughout our lives, television, movies, books, and history lessons tell us that the most important moment involves rising to a dramatic challenge, such as running into the burning building, storming the hill, stepping in front of a bullet, or standing up for what is right. To be very, very clear, these are noble and heroic acts that should be celebrated. Yet, the vast majority of us may only have one moment like that in our lives, 
And the reality is that most of us will face no such tests. What is far more challenging is the everyday heroism of millions of small interactions and seemingly unimportant moments that we will have during the average 30 days we, sorry, 30,000 days we spend on this planet. For example, many of us play sports, whether on a varsity or thirds level. What is harder, scoring the goal and winning or the endless hours of practice that form the player and their skills? Perhaps even more difficult is performing at a high level when you feel alone without anyone cheering you on from the sidelines. As John Wooden, a former basketball coach at UCLA, once said, the true test of a person's character is what they do when no one is watching. While I have always believed in this notion of small daily acts of heroism, I think it is more important because we live in a world where there is to be considered a human happiness crisis. While there are a variety of causes for this crisis, like the rise of technology and growing stress and anxiety about the serious issues of today, I think one of the most powerful tools we have to address this problem is to be more direct in our personal interactions. I'm not saying that everyone should go entirely out of their way to make a di great difference, but rather we can make a conscious decision on a regular day-to-day -day basis for more daily interactions with the people around us, the ones right here in this chapel, not the ones on social media. At Westminster, we have some of the best role models and one of the best setups for human relationships and community. Whether it be in the chapel, the classroom, the dorms, the playing fields, or on family-style lunch, the idea of community is reinforced by a sense of grace in our daily human connections. I love it when I see people like Ben Mahalovich in the hallways, and he never fails to give me a just to put a smile and sometimes a laugh right on my face. I love it when Cindy on gives me a hug and tells me, it's okay, Shelves, after I shank my drive during practice. Her hug and encouragement instantly boosts my confidence back up before my next shot. And most importantly, I love it when so many of you manage to give me a nice socks, perhaps recognizing that I have once again failed to put on a pair of matching socks. In fact, wearing unmatched socks has basically become my trademark. Well, I could go on and on about the small daily interactions that have an impact on my days here at Westie, I want to bring it back to Ben Franklin's important question. The one that my dad has taught me to ask every day, as Franklin did. As I have grown up, these seven words, what good shall I do this day, have become a part of my personal mantra, helping me out as I approach various daily obstacles and scenarios. I acknowledge that sometimes I have bad days. We all do and have not always felt up to answering the challenge. Yet, I try my best to press on and work towards a greater good and somehow make a difference. I am so grateful to Westy for allowing me the opportunities to do so, and I am also extremely grateful to my dad for teaching me Ben Franklin's simple question and its value. I encourage all of you to ask yourself every day, what good shall I do this day? While not always easy, you can be the person who makes a difference in someone else's day. Thank you.